Tigers baseball on Fox Sports Detroit is presented by Bell Tire. At the halfway point of the 2014 season, the Tigers are exactly where they want to be. 47 and 34 record, first place in the American League Central Division, and the third best record in Major League Baseball. Plenty of big moments in the first half, and the hope is there will be plenty of big moments in the second half. Welcome to Comerica Park, game one in this four-game series featuring the Detroit Tigers and the Tampa Bay Rays. Hi again, everyone. Welcome to Tigers Baseball. Mario and Pep alongside Rod Allen. It's been a great first half tonight. We officially start the second half, Rod, for the Tigers. That means the Rays are in town, but hopefully uh, that first half will uh, spill over into the second half. It's been a good first part of the season. I don't see any reason why it cannot spill over to the second half of the season. I think uh, most of the experts out there thought the Tigers would be right where they are right now. Uh, they are the class of their division. They do have the Tampa Bay Rays in town. They're not playing very well overall this season, but they're a hot team. Tigers simply have to continue to win series. All right, the Rays are a hot team, but they're facing Max Scherzer, who's been a hot pitcher in his last two, much better than three starts ago when he gave up seven runs. Well, I think what Max has done his last couple of starts, he's gotten back to his fastball. He has reestablished the fastball. Uh, he's had his foot on the gas pedal uh, very heavy lately. He has gotten a lot of strikeouts, 21 of those in just 13 innings, only three base on balls, but also by him getting to the fastball and reestablishing it, he's also starting to get swings and misses on his off-speed kit pitches again, which is very, very important for Max. I think there was a time where the opposing hitters started to sit on off-speed pitches, but now Max is back on track. Hopefully he can go on to have a stellar second half. And it all begins here tonight. After a short break, we'll send you back to the Call Sam Studios. Check in with Trevor Thompson. Coming up in this one, the Rays have been red hot. They've won five straight, including a sweep of the Yankees. Tampa Tigers, game one, next.
Back here at Comerica Park as we get you ready for baseball tonight. The Rays are in town to start a four game series over Fourth of July weekend. Max Scherzer is on the hill for the Tigers tonight and he is presented by family heating cooling and electrical last couple of starts for Scherzer have been overpowering starts for him. He's racked up quite a few strikeouts as a matter of fact. You look at the strikeouts he's racked up this year 132 of those just 32 base on balls. He can simply overpower an offensive team. What a gorgeous night for baseball here as the Tigers take on the Rays in the start of a four game series. These are two teams that have been playing some pretty good baseball. And Desmond Jennings leads it off. First pitch of the game is rolled fair inside the bag at third base. This will be extra bases for Jennings, who will cruise into second. And one pitch into this game, it's a leadoff double. Here is the rest of the lineup for the Rays presented by the Metro Detroit Chevy dealers and for Tampa this evening you saw Jennings Zobrist and Joyce will follow Joyce doing some good work on their current road trip Longoria Loney and Belnome and then uh, Kiermaier Hannigan and Figueroa now your bottom three and Nick Castellanos had to play in at the cut of the grass because Jennings does have speed Jennings got himself a fastball right down the middle and hit it right past uh, Nick Castellanos. So here is Ben Zobrist batting with a man at second and nobody out just underway. Zobrist checks in tonight at 254. You mentioned the Rays playing good baseball right now. They've just come off a series where they've swept the Yankees in three and they also took three or four from the Baltimore Orioles before they made that visit to Yankee Stadium. So they're heading in the right direction. They've won five in a row and that's drilled to center field straight at Jackson. AJ backs up runner will tag and Jennings will move up one gone. Let's take a look at the starting defensive lineup presented by Beaumont Health System uh, the Tigers will line up this way defensively in the outfield. They've got uh, J.D. Martinez in left Jackson in center Hunter. He's in right Suarez Kinsler Cabrera Castellanos in the infield and Alex Avila. And he's the catcher here tonight. So Matt Joyce will stand in the former Tiger has a chance to put the first run of the game on the board batting 271 he's hit six homers and has been relatively hot 11 RBIs in his last 17 games and he will bat here against a drawn in infield. We really have not seen Brad Osmus play the infield in all that often during the regular season in this particular situation in the first inning he did a lot of it in spring training but not so much since the season has began. We'll see if the Tigers cut down a run here as Joyce looks at a ball low. Obviously, Max looking for a strikeout. Last couple of starts, he's racked up uh, quite a few punch outs. Joyce has hit safely in his last three. 18 home runs last season for Matt Joyce. He was traded from the Tigers to the Rays several years back for Edwin Jackson, right handed pitcher. Here's the 1 0 pitch. And it's in there for a strike 1 1. Matt Joyce has always been a pretty good fastball hitter. A Tampa native playing with his hometown team. Lead off two base hit by Jennings. Zobris fly ball advances the runner. Now Max with the 1 1. Outside two balls and one strike on Joyce Desmond Jennings down at third base the base runner very aggressive with a secondary lead He might be coming on contact and the Tigers infielders need to be aware of that and make sure uh, They get the ball to Avila as soon as possible if Jennings is on the move on the ball on the ground Now the 2 1 swing and a miss 2 and 2 Ooh, good change up there thrown by Max to Joyce And coming off the fingertips very nicely. Fading changeup. Scherzer has allowed just three runs in his last 13 innings, covering his last two starts. Here's the 2 2. Blocked by Avilo. Three balls and two strikes. Well, time now for the Bernstein advantage, and right now Scherzer enjoys the Bernstein advantage over Matt Joyce. And 15 at bats, four strikeouts, exactly what Max is looking for here. He's already thrown Matt uh, several breaking balls at the bottom of the zone. Max could go a couple different ways here uh, to get another punch out. He can go upstairs with a real good fastball right around the belt buckle 
and possibly get a swing and miss. Here's the 3 2. And he takes ball four just outside. Where was that? Scherzer wants to know the exact same thing. 96 mile power fastball looked like it was good. Phil Cuzzy, he's the home plate umpire this evening. Well, let's see. Right at the glove. Close pitch to take, apparently just a shade outside. So the Rays have runners at first and third now with one out. Here's Evan Longoria. He's batting 263 and 37 RBIs this year. Infield pushing back up the middle and search for ground ball to get Scherzer out of this inning. Longoria has hit into seven double plays this season. And he looks at a strike 0 and 1. It has not been the typical Longoria type pace. Longoria with 10 home runs this year with the average at only 263 hit 32 homers last year. Haven't had a chance to watch Longoria at all this year but obviously he does not have a whole lot of protection uh, in the batting order. I think a lot of teams simply pitch around Longoria on most nights. Time called now Longoria will step out as Scherzer who typically will hold the baseball as long as he can with a runner at first base. Joe Madden the skipper of the Rays in his ninth season two time American League manager of the year in 2008 and 2010 very popular manager is Joe Madden. Here's the 0 1. That is lifted in the air right field cruising over Torrey Hunter Jennings will tag catch is made and Torrey's throw is cut off throw to second he is not in time. Sack fly RBI for Evan Longoria. And the Rays lead 1 0. Will be his 38th RBI of the year. Jennings comes around to score. Two gone now with the runner at second base. We'll bring up James Loney. Loney having himself a pretty good year. He's batting 280. He's knocked in 43 runs. In fact, he leads the Rays with 43 RBIs. Got a chance to drive one in here with two outs. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. Loney was a free agent uh, after the season last year, and the uh, Tampa Bay Rays decided to sign him to a new three year contract at about $21 million. That is the largest contract the current ownership group has given out to any player. Well, he was in consideration for a gold glove as well at first base last year. Eric Hosmer ended up winning the gold glove at first in the American League. Tigers have a couple cats making 21 mil per season. How about that? It just shows you the difference in philosophies and markets. Yeah, their payroll, the uh, Rays, the last six years, they've been. Average 27th in the major leagues, but yet they win 90 games a season under Joe Madden. 0 oh 2 on James Loney. Blocking at home plate is Avila, one ball and two strikes. Loney is hit safely in his last four. Loney's a good line drive hitter. He doesn't strike out all that often sprays the ball all around the ballpark when he's going right. Just five homers this year but he's driven in 43. Now Max with a one two and he missed the outside corner two balls two strikes. He just missed on a. 3 2 pitch to Matt Joyce. He ended up walking him, and then the sack fly by Longoria. Vince Belnome waiting on deck. Now the 2 2. Bouncing ball right side, straight at Cabrera. 
He'll hit the pitcher covering. Scherzer tags the back for the out, and the damage is minimal. One run in the inning. Here come the Tigers. Back in the leadoff slot for the Tigers, one nothing in favor of the Rays. Here is the Tigers starting lineup presented by the Southeast Michigan Ford dealers, and it looks like this. It'll be Jackson, who was three for five yesterday. He's leading off in center, followed by Kinsler and Cabrera. Victor back in the lineup. That's good news. The DH, then JD, Tory Hunter. You got Castellanos, Avila, and Suarez. Rounding it out, and they are facing the left-handed offerings of Eric Bedard, the veteran left-hander. He was signed on Valentine's Day here as a minor league contract. And he's in the big leagues for the Rays. He has made 14 starts, four and five, with a 4.21 ERA. And Bedard goes to work, and his first pitch is a strike on the outer edge to Austin Jackson. Yeah, Bedard's got a fastball that will go anywhere from 85 to 91. He also has a slow curveball with a two-plane break to it, a cutter, changeup, and a splitter. And part of his arsenal, although he does not throw the splitter eh, very often. Another strike on Jackson who felt that ball may have been up and out, but not so and to the count. Ian Kinsler waiting on deck. Bedard is 35 years old now. Had some good years with the Orioles. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Lifted toward left center. That's going to drop. Base hit. Jackson had a three hit day yesterday and a good start tonight. Let's take a look at the Tampa Bay Rays starting defensive alignment. It is presented to you by Tim Hortons. It's Evan Longoria at third base. He kind of anchors uh, their defensive squad. 2009-2010 Longoria. Couple of gold gloves. Nice piece of hitting by Austin Jackson who appears to be getting himself in a really good position to get some good bat speed on the low breaking ball. Just kind of served it into left field for a knock. He scored a couple of times yesterday. We'll see if the Tigers now could get him around as Ian Kinsler stands in. Well, maybe Brad Ausmus is onto something regarding putting Jackson back in that leadoff spot. Just about to ask you that because that's exactly what Ausmus is doing here to try and get him going. He may not take him out if he continues like this. Kinsler takes ball one as the catcher Hannigan goes down to block it. Nearly impossible to run when Bedard is on the mound. He has a real nice slide step, takes very little time getting the ball to his catcher. Hannigan and Hannigan's got a decent arm behind the plate. Jackson this year, eight stolen bases in 11 opportunities. He is the tying run here in the bottom of the first. One nothing in favor of the Rays. Now the 1 0. Kinsler takes way outside as it floats out there. Two and all the count on the Tigers second baseman. Four hits in the series just completed against the A's in which the Tigers swept the American League West Division leaders. 
So the Tigers now have won their last three as Cabrera lurks on deck. Here's the 2 0. Way outside 3 0. Eric Bedard was healthy last season for the very first time in a long time, as a matter of fact, uh, since 2006. And he pitched for the Houston Astros and uh, he led their squad in also starts and innings. Last five starts, he hadn't walked too many, though. No more than two in any of those starts. Here's the 3 0, and it's a strike call, 3 and 1 on Kinsler. Bedard, a native Canadian, he goes 6'1", 200 pounder. Now you mentioned the fact that he pitched for the Baltimore Orioles, and when he was pitching for Baltimore before being traded uh, to the Seattle Mariners in that Adam Jones deal, he had a fastball in the mid 90s with a good breaking ball. I mean, a good curveball and a good changeup. He was one of the best left-handers in the American League. That is belted to left field. That ball is way back. It is up and it is gone. A home run. Kinsler has given the Tigers an early two to one lead. Number 11 for Kinsler. Brad Osmus was talking about Ian Kinsler today and he said he's got an uppercut swing and he likes to elevate the baseball but he also can climb the ladder and even that swing out on balls that are above the belt buckle and that was a change up that was up that Ian Kinsler went up to get. And hit a line drive out of the ballpark. So two batters into the bottom of the first inning. Eric Bedard now trails by a run. And Cabrera takes one way outside 1 0. Single by Jackson, homer by Kinsler. Miguel batting 3 11. Here's the 1 0 pitch. Fouled away. One ball and one strike on Cabrera. Kinsler has also picked up RBIs 44 and 45. Definite all star candidate this year, batting over 300. Playing some really good second base as well. Now the 1 1. Two balls and one strike. Kinsler. Even Tory, the scouting report. I'd listen to if I was Tory. <laughs> Here's the two one pitch. That's the one thing the Tigers have Victor, Ian, and also Tory Hunter. Uh, these guys can dissect the starting pitcher on any given night, and the three of them, when they huddle around the television set, they can pretty pick much pick up any tendencies that that opposing pitcher may have on that particular night and they will relay that information to all the players. Here's the 2 2. Low three balls and two strikes. Meanwhile waiting on deck good to see Victor Martinez back in the Tigers lineup although J.D. filled in nicely in that four slot. Well the reason why Victor is playing today is because it's a left hand right on the mound Bedard. Doesn't hurt to swing the bat right handed but there is some still some discomfort uh, when swinging the bat left handed for Victor. Cabrera takes it outside and he'll get himself a base on balls a very bumpy start for Eric Bedard. Single homer and now a walk. And so here is Victor Martinez. A very early trip to the mound for Ryan Hannigan, the catcher. Victor did not play in the Oakland Athletics series, and Tigers still able to sweep Oakland without Victor. He had some soreness in his side that he suffered in that Houston series, so this will be his first at bat since coming back from the road trip. He said he did it in his final at bat in that Houston series on Sunday afternoon. And Victor looks at ball one. The dart has not thrown many strikes. Nope, 15 pitches, eight of those have missed the strike zone. And I'm not sure the ball that Kinsler hit out was a strike either. The upper reaches of the strike zone. 
One ball, no strikes. Martinez has really had himself a whale of a season. 20 homers, 52 RBIs. Well, as we delve into the second half, here's what the standings look like. The Tigers in first place, 47 and 34. And the Tigers now have been over 500 in eight of the last nine first halves. 13 over at this point. Here's the 1 1. Driven high in the air to left. That ball is hit well. And Joyce is going to watch this one go. Second home run of the inning, and Victor Martinez comes back with a bang. Saw right side or not, Victor Martinez was not going to miss the left hander, Eric Badar, here tonight. Four to one, Detroit. And Bedard has not recorded an out yet. Great balance by Victor Martinez went down to the bottom of the zone and got the pitch he was looking for and simply golfed it out of here. Great concentration. So in other words, Victor hadn't seen game pitching in what three, four days, and he just steps back in the box and hits a homer. He's got incredible hand-eye coordination, and you add in this skill set, and you get a really good big league hitter. Martinez came in batting 385, right-handed. Warm night tonight. Ball flying out of Comerica Park. He's among the league leaders in homers now. Abreu, Cruz, and Encarnacion with 26. Here's the 0-1. One. one ball, one strike on J.D. Martinez. Career high for Victor Martinez in home runs is 25. He should shatter that this season. Well, the RBI total now stands at 54. It's just been one of those years where the ball has been flying for Martinez. That ball has popped up. Shallow right and caught by Kevin Kiermeyer. That is the first out of the inning. By the way, our predictions for today's Fox Sports Detroit Tigers player of the game presented by McDonald's new triple cheeseburger for only two dollars. Well, it looks like you're up to a good start, right? Well, I'm not going to rub it in, but uh, <laughs> I did take Victor today. Keats has Nick Castellanos, and I'm going to go with Tori Hunter, who is stepping into the box right now. So Bedard finally records an out. Four to one Detroit. Hunter batting 257. Strike one on Torrey. Torrey had three huge hits yesterday. All three of its hits came with two outs, and he drove in runs with all of the knocks. He skies this one in the air to left center field. That ball is hit well. Joyce going back. Track wall. Tigers over the third of the inning. Tigers hit with battling long distance in the first inning tonight against Eric Bedard. Everything he throws, they are absolutely tattooing. Homer number 10 for Torrey. Joe Mann with a quizzical look on his face now. How do you stop these guys? That's another breaking ball that's up at the top of the zone. Kinsler had a hanging pitch at the top of the zone as well. And for his two run homer. That is five Tigers now with 10 or more home runs this season. Hunter joins that list as Castellanos fouls it back. Long balls in this inning for Kinsler, Victor Martinez, and Tory Hunter. Here's the 0 1. Lined right field. That's going to drop base hit. Jim Hickey, the pitching coach, is going to have to go out and uh, have a conversation with uh, Bedard. Whatever the game plan was coming in, they're going to have to change it. It has been a clinic for Tigers hitters as Hickey comes trotting out. 
This has just been uh, a bad inning for Eric Bedard. It all started with a leadoff single by Jackson. And the Tigers just have not quit hitting. Kinsler's home run in this frame made it two to one. Martinez added a two run shot, then Torrey Hunter is solo homer. So Joe Madden's team came in with a five game win streak, but they have been shown an offensive outburst here in the first inning. Castellanos aboard. Here's the eighth man to bat in the inning for the Tigers. Might as well keep it going. Here's Avila. Pretty good numbers in his career against the Rays. 328. One ball, no strikes. Twenty-five pitches here in this inning, and only one out recorded by Bedard. Vila looks at a ball outside. I guess it's really no coincidence that uh, Scherzer is on the mound tonight. You know, the Tigers, the last calendar year, they have scored a ton of runs uh, while Max has been out there. Uh, they have averaged him nearly seven runs per contest. Well, they're just about there right now. They've got five. And Bedard missed. So his struggles continue now. Three balls and no strikes. Eric Bedard at one time a 15 game winner with Baltimore. The very next year he finished fifth in the Cy Young voting. I guess that scouting report that uh, Ian Kinsler gave to uh, Torrey Hunter was pretty good. One. It's dead on. He's taking 3 0. It's 3 and 1. Trying to give Kevin Rand the scouting report now. Head athletic trainer. Bedard ready with the 3 1, and it's looped in the air to center field, shallow, and caught on the run by Kiermaier. Nice play. Kiermaier can run. And he's a good defender, and he plays the game about 200 miles an hour. He came bolting in from right field to make that play. Good speed. Off the bat, I thought it was a base hit. 31st round draft choice. He's made it all the way to the big leagues. So with two outs, here is Eugenio Suarez. Average at a healthy 296 right now. 24 games into his big league career. A little bit outside, one ball and no strikes. It has turned into a 30 pitch inning here for Bedard, who in his last start was really economical, didn't have any inning over 14. Here's the 1 0 pitch, and it's in there for a strike. Suarez, three home runs. He hit those early as soon as he was called up by the Tigers. High fly ball, right center field. Desmond Jennings is on the run, so is Kiermeyer, and Kiermeyer will bring it in to record the final out, but it's a big inning for the Tigers. The long ball was working tonight. Kinsler, two run shot. Victor, two run shot. And Torrey gets in the act with a solo homer. What a start.
the first time since June of 06 when the Tigers played in Chicago Granderson Guillen and Shelton back in 2006 turned the trick and the Tigers get it done here by Kinsler Victor Martinez and Tory Hunter. I remember that series like it was yesterday. Me too. It really stands out, doesn't it? Tigers fans, they took over Wrigley Field. And the Tigers went in there and wore them out. That was a home game. A home that was series. a home game? Yeah. For us. Oh, <laughs> oh like excuse it, me. It, no, no, no. You're right. It was in Chicago, but it felt like a home game. They took over Wrigley. Here's a foul tip into the glove. I think Granderson started off the first game, second game, and the third game with extra base hits. Granderson was on the base pass the entire series. I think the gambler, Kenny Rogers, may have gotten his 2200th victory, excuse me, in that series. Yeah, that was on Father's Day, actually. There's a ball high and away, and the count now on Vince Belnome is two balls, two strikes. We're getting up there in age, but our memories are pretty good. Well, yours is. No, that was a long time ago. Yeah. Although it seems like yesterday. Swing and a miss, and Belnome in his first big league at bat goes down swinging. Scherzer carved him up. First strike out of the ball game for Mad Max. Hey, Max incorporating all of his pitches in the very first couple of innings. This is a changeup here. It's a hittable pitch, but it swung right through and by Belnome. Here's Kiermaier. Scherzer surrendering a double to start the ball game, and then a sack fly later in the inning by Longoria scored the first run of the game. High fly ball left field hit pretty well. Martinez on the move. JD right in front of the wall, two gone. Ball's flying today. Anything hit to left, if you get it pretty good, it's got a chance to get out of here. I didn't think that Kiermaier hit that ball all that well, but he took JD Martinez all the way to the warning track. That might have something to do with it there, the wind blowing out toward uh, left center field. So with two outs, Ryan Hannigan. Hannigan skies the first pitch. That's in the shallow right. It'll be an easy inning for Max. Hunter makes the catch. Seven pitch inning. How about that? We go to the bottom of the second. Kinsler, Martinez, and Hunter have already touched on play. Tigers baseball on Fox Sports Detroit is brought to you by Comerica Bank, a part of Detroit and the community since 1849 by Ram Trucks. Ram 1500 is Motor Trend's 2014 Truck of the Year and first ever back-to-back -back champion. And by Dean's Country Fresh Premium Ice Cream and Novelties, share a pure moment. 
what a gorgeous night here in the ballpark. Got another nice crowd here tonight. The Rays are in town. And the Tiger bats are booming early. They scored five big ones in the first inning. Well, Bedard is uh, picking up right where he left off in the very first inning, not able to get ahead of many hitters, and not really using his fastball all that aggressive. He threw 32 first inning pitches. Even though you don't have the overpowering fastball that he used to have, you still have to use the fastball and move it around, and you have to show the Tigers on occasion you're willing to go inside uh, with that heater. 11 runs now in the first inning and his 15 starts. He came into this game pitching 72 innings. He had only given up seven homers in the 72 innings prior to today. There's a strike call. Well, that homer total just jumped. Yeah, he had been able to keep the ball in the ballpark. Here's his breakdown 20 strikes, 15 have missed the strike zone, and Jackson looks at a strike. Two and two the count on AJ who got it started with a single back in the first. On the heels of a three for five yesterday against the athletics. Bedard ready with the two two. There's another base hit for Jackson. He's starting to really come on now he's two for two. Really impressed with uh, Austin Jackson's day yesterday and he's continued that today but let's take a look at his three at bats. In, in the ball game yesterday afternoon first at bat he went to left field second at bat he went right back up the middle third at bat he went to right field so he's seeing the ball real good balance but one of the things that Jackson has to do and what he has done very well is he has made sure where the ball is pitched that's exactly where he's hitting it. That ball is about three four inches off the plate outside. Ball one to Kinsler. So the second inning begins like the first inning did with a leadoff single by Jackson. Jackson's first time up he got a breaking ball that he hit the left field for a base at that time he got a change up uh, out of the hand of Bedard. It's in for a strike and the count goes to one and one. Bedard so far is just four of eleven in first pitch strikes. And he gave up four runs before he recorded an out in the first inning. Ground ball left side, gloved at third by Longoria. The second one of the relay is a double play. Five, four, three. Here is our T Mobile game changer as Miguel Cabrera comes strolling into the dish. And against the Rays since 2012, Miguel has done some major damage. Well, for that very reason and those numbers that you're looking at, there is no doubt that if Miguel comes up in a certain situation during the course of the next four days against the Rays, Joe Madden will give his pitcher four balls. Walk Miguel. There's a drive to center field, sinking, base hit, maybe more. It's going to roll all the way to the wall. It got by Desmond Jennings and his second goes Miguel Cabrera. That is Miguel Cabrera's 31st double of the season. He had only 26 all of last year. Leading the American League 31 two baggers now. Mickey has had a season where he has had 50 doubles and it looks like he's headed there this year. For a big guy he has got a sweet swing. So another RBI chance now for Victor Martinez who hit a two run shot in the first inning. And the average at 326 for Martinez who came into this game third in the American League in batting average. Ball one. Starting to hear some uh, MVP chants in the crowd, and who are they for? Are they for Miggy or are they for Victor? <laughs> it's, it's impossible to tell. And they're both certainly in the conversation. Promises to be a great Fourth of July weekend here at the ballpark. Weather should be great. Here's the 1 0. 2 0 on Martinez.
The Dart in his last start gave up three runs in seven innings, pitched well against Baltimore. That was on Saturday. Struck out seven of that game, but he was ambushed here in the first inning tonight with five runs for Detroit. Now Martinez waiting on a 2 0. There's a strike call, two and one. 88 mile per hour fastball there thrown by Bedard right down the middle that Victor didn't offer at. Around the outside part of the plate, and the count goes to three and one, and that's going to bring Hannigan, who is crossed up, out to the mound. It was only 70 mile per, 71 miles per hour, so the fact that it was not a fastball, uh, Hannigan still able to glove it. Could almost have been called a strike too, but Hannigan, when he was crossed up, kind of caught it awkwardly. Three balls, one strike. Cabrera surveying the outfielders. Here's the 3 1. And that's going to be a walk. So Bedard gets a double play ball, and all of a sudden, a double and a walk. Hey, tomorrow night, the Tigers host these Rays at 7 08. All fans are invited to stick around after the game for a patriotic fireworks spectacular. For tickets, call 866-66-TIGER or visit tigers.com. That is going to be a show that you do not want to miss. As we celebrate the 4th of July here at Comerica Park. There's J.D. Martinez. Two on, two out. In there for a strike, 0-1. JD flat out in the first inning. 351 over his last 32 games. Outstanding month of June for Martinez. There's a strike. 0 and 2 now on Martinez. I mean, JD simply has uh, forced his way into the lineup. Uh, Brett Osmus has very little choice but to write JD's name. On his lineup card every night. So Martinez has gone from a guy who provided some power off the bench and to an occasional start to a guy that really has become a middle of the order hitter. Three, four, five in that area. I mean, he was filling in for Victor Martinez, He's batted fifth most of the time. One ball, two strikes. Torrey Hunter, one of the trio of home run hitters for the Tigers, waiting on deck. This will be the 50th pitch for Bedard. Fouled back. That's what we're talking about with J.D. Martinez since the 1st of June. He's been uh, playing some big boy baseball. No slowing down indeed. I mean, he has basically been as consistent as any Tigers hitter through the month of June. And again, the one two. Ground ball back up the middle. That's a base hit. Cabrera rounding third. They're going to send him home, and he'll come around to score. J.D. Martinez gets into the act. Two out RBI hit. A really good at bat here by Martinez. Two strikes, simply shortened his swing. And he got a breaking ball off the plate, smoked it right back up the middle. Uh, Miguel able to score rather easily. Thirty-fifth RBI of the year for JD Martinez. Now Hunter who homered to the first. 
three straight base runners after that double play. Swing and a miss, Torrey. Up and around the letters, 0 and 1. Hunter hit his 10th home run of the season in his last at bat. Three big knocks yesterday. All in the clutch for the Tigers in their win over the Athletics. The 0 1. Drill to right field and again caught on the run by Kiermeyer. That'll end the inning. But Tigers get another run and the single by Martinez to drive one in. Tigers baseball tonight presented by Bell Tire. Hey, Max Scherzer's been awfully good in his last two starts against Houston and Cleveland. He's off to a nice start here. Did give up a first inning run, but his teammates have supported him with six runs already in this game. And Max goes back to work and throws a strike to Cole Figueroa. That is something that Max has done his last couple of starts. He has kind of reestablished his fastball. Uh, that fastball in the mid 90s. Uh, whenever he wants to get to that velocity. Scherzer had a. Seven pitch second inning. Figueroa batting 176 is 373417 with the Rays since being called up. It was on June 24th. And he takes the ball outside 1 2. Figueroa, then Jennings, and then Ben Zobrist. And the Rays top of the third. Six runs, eight hits. Detroit, one run, one hit for Tampa Bay. Lifted in the air to left. That'll back up J.D. Martinez a little bit. And Figueroa's out of there. Hey, check that out. You know where those folks are sitting right now? That's where we're going to be doing a game from on Saturday afternoon. The right field balcony. Is exactly where our broadcast position will be stationed on Saturday. You don't want to miss it. I am so looking forward to that. Getting out there, hanging with the peeps. Me too, and we invite folks to come on up and say hi. That's a great area, brand new area here at Comerica Park this year. Here's a swing and a miss by Desmond Jennings. Doubled score to run back in the first. And he slings one in for a strike in the count quickly 0 2 on Jennings. 
Jennings had a pretty good series against the Yankees was four for 11. He also walked three times. And has been on base quite a bit in the last three four games. A little bounce in. One and two the count on Jennings. One out nobody on. Scherzer has retired six in a row and he's gotten ahead of this hitter. Here's the one two. Spoiled that one back at the screen. The impressive thing about that series against the Athletics, aside from the Tigers sweeping, of course, is the fact that their starting pitchers walk one in that series. There is Ramos swarming up in their bullpen. They were strike one on just about every Oakland Athletic hitter. Therefore, they really couldn't work the counts the way that they had been uh, working counts all season. Two balls and two strikes. Starting pitching has always set the tone for the Tigers, and it has again in stretches this year. That's fouled off at home plate. And here's kind of what we're talking about in that middle lull when the Tigers were really struggling after a real hot start. Look where the ERA was 5 7 6, but in their last 13 games, the starters have really done the job. 2 2 6 ERA. Check swing foul. One out here in the third. Tigers on top, six to one. Rick Porcello, of course, back to back complete game shutouts. Pulled and caught at third base by Castellanos. And Nick just kind of fell over at third base. And was able to make the play. Right before it hit the ground. Two up, two down here in the third. Here's Ben Zobrist. We talked about this the other night, Rod, but. It's just Cassianos just basically going about his business defensively at third. Yeah, Omar Vizquel has done a nice job with him, making sure that he keeps his feet moving when the ball gets in the hitting zone, that he's in a nice athletic position, which would allow him to go to the left or to the right or come in or go back. And I think that's been the biggest issue going back to spring training with Cassianos, who was learning of that third base position all over again. And they just told Nick to shift, so he's out in the short right field now against Zobrist. With a 1 1 count. And he grounds it foul off the end of the bat. 1 and 2. Tigers did a lot of that shifting against the Oakland Athletics when they were in town for that uh, three game series. After one strike against the left hander, Cassiano simply goes out to where he is at right now. I guess the feeling on that is after one strike, that left handed batter that's in the batter's box uh, wouldn't bunt for a base hit down the third baseline. Now the 1 2. Sliced and caught on a leap by Suarez. Tiger flashing some leather here in the third. Castellanos a diving play and Suarez a leaping play. And a 1 2 3 inning for Max Scherzer. Let's go to the bottom of the third.
right now. 6 1 is our score. We've got a wall side windows pitching change. Cesar Ramos will take over now for the Rays. Hey, Eric Bedard just two innings, but didn't do very well while he was out there. Ramos uh, will try to eat up some innings here to see if their offense can get back in the game. 26 games this year for Ramos, 44 strikeouts, 28 walks to ERA, with just a shade over four. Not a good way to start a four game series if you're the Rays here. First starting pitcher lasting just two innings. Yeah, Ramos can give Joe Madden and his Rays some length. He's made seven starts this year. He'll face the bottom three here Castiano, Sevilla, and Suarez. Ball one missing high. From Cesar Ramos. Born in Los Angeles, California. He lives in Pico Rivera. Grounded foul. One ball, one strike. Castellanos had a single in the first inning. Nick did not score. 321 over his last 31 games. Castellanos has become more consistent offensively after a bit of a lull in the month of May. Here's the 1 1. High fly ball, right center field. Kiermaier's been busy out there. Gonna haul in another. One out. Ramos has all four pitches. He's got the fastball, sinker, cutter. Also slider, curveball, changeup, part of his uh, four pitch mix. Here's the Vila. Something else that Ramos will do quite a bit to the left handed batters. He will pitch them inside aggressively uh, with his fastball. He's got a lefty here in Alex Sevilla flied out his first time up. That's in for strike one. The Vila's fly ball was hit to Kiermaier and Wright, who has five putouts in this game already. And the Tigers scored five in the first, courtesy of three home runs. They lead six to one. Strike call. 0 oh, 2. Waiting on deck, Eugenio Suarez. Now Ramos ready with the 0 2. Bounce again, one ball, two strikes. Ramos came up in the San Diego system and was a member of the Padres in 2009 and 2010 as well. Then was acquired by the Rays. Jason Bartlett deal sending Bartlett the other way. Here's the one two. Right back up the middle into center. Vila with a solid single back up the middle. It's another hit for the Tigers. Let's check in with Lindsay Hayes. Hi guys. Well, yesterday the Tigers enjoyed their evening off by having a barbecue in the backyard of Anibal Sanchez's house. About 20 of the guys were there. Check out the Instagram photo that they tweeted out. A fun night, good food, good music. They said on the menu was steak, stuffed mushrooms, and then also all sorts of authentic Spanish cuisine. And uh, Rajay Davis is by far the big sweet tooth on the team. He said he had to have cake and a cupcake, not to mention. But good team bonding for them, that's for sure. All right, Lindsay, thanks. Well, I'm with uh, Rajay, man. I like cake. It's always the guys that can't put on any weight that like the sweets. <laughs> Rajay does not have an ounce of fat on his body. Isn't that the truth? Suarez flying out to left for the second out of the inning. Now the top of the order, Austin Jackson. This, I will say, Rod, seems to be a, uh, a team that really gets along with each other. They do. They do a lot of stuff together on the road. And they get together at home. Jackson has two singles. 
really starting to bust out of it now, and he looks at a strike. Let's take one more look at the Avila at bat. We told you Ramos will try to come inside with his fastball to the left-handers. He didn't get this one in far enough, and Avila was waiting for him, smoked it right back up the middle. Now Ramos ready with the 0 1. Bouncing ball to short. Charging there is Zobris. They'll get the force, and that'll end the inning. No runs. A hit. One man left. To the fourth we go. Vila swing up the middle. We tried to show it to you last half inning, but we had some difficulties delivering that to you. But it's a fastball inside, and that's the scouting report on Ramos against left-handers. He will try to do this, but Avila was waiting for him and got himself a solid base hit right back through the middle. It'll be Matt Joyce to start things off here in the fourth inning as Max Scherzer goes back to the hill, leading six to one. And another first pitch strike. Phil Cussey took the brunt of that foul ball. That'll make sure it's 11 and 12 now in first pitch strikes. Phil Cussey just shook it off. Didn't even blink. Here's the 0 1. Max had himself a 1 2 3 second to 1 2 3 third. He's got Joyce Longoria Loney 3 4 5 here for the Rays. In the fourth inning. In there for a strike one and two. And that's exactly what uh, Max has done to Joyce in the past. He'll show him the fastball up. And he'll show him the fastball down. But when he really wants to get him out. It's the change up or the curveball. Just off the plate. Two and two on Matt Joyce who walked. But did not score back in the first. Walked on a really close 3 2 pitch. This one is a ground ball to first base. Easy play for Miguel. So Scherzer continues to cruise along now. One gone. And continues to get Matt Joyce out the same way. That is nine straight retired by Max. We'll bring up Evan Longoria. Goria in his first at bat lofted a sack fly to give the Rays an early one nothing lead. It was a lead that did not last very long. The Tigers answered with five in the bottom of the first. A lot of the uh, Rays hitters are swinging at the first pitch that Max throws. And he's not necessarily leading all of them off with fastballs. He has led some off with breaking balls. And some he's led off with changeups, but yet they're very aggressive uh, tonight against Max. 
Oh and two. Scherzer in his last start against Houston struck out 13. That was a season high. He really made a nice adjustment in that start. He gave up three hits in the very first inning, gave up a couple of runs on off speed pitches. And Jeff Jones met him at the top step after that inning. And they basically blew up that day's game plan and they started a new one. There's Castellanos going off his arm strength two gone. It's one of the things that you have to do when you come into a game and the other teams on top of what you're doing. You simply have to make those necessary adjustments. Here's James Loney. Grounded to Cabrera in the first inning, 0 for 1. Scherzer's strikeout high in his career is 15. He nearly got there in his last start with 13. Three times this year, Max has had double digits in the strikeout column. It's pulled into right field, base hit. These Rays continue to swing at the first pitch. Yeah, that's a changeup that Loney got out in front of, but he found some grass in the outfield. Most guys are not swinging at first pitch changeup, but Loney did. It'll stop the streak of 10 straight retired by Scherzer. Vince Belnome stands in. And he looks at the ball outside 1 0. Six runs, nine hits for the Tigers. A run on two hits tonight for the Rays. We're in the fourth inning. Tip that one into the glove of Avila and the count goes to one and one. Bill Nome last year at 300 at Triple A this year was batting just 225 at Durham when he was called up. He's 26 years old. One one is outside two balls in one strike. Bill Nome was recalled today. And uh, making his major league debut tonight as you look at the numbers on max 50 total now for Scherzer. Here's the two one. Two and two. Best fastball of the, the night so far thrown by Max at 95 miles an hour. Scherzer struck him out back in the second. Here's the 2 2 coming home. And he got him looking this time here in the fourth. No runs, one hit. Scherzer strikes up Belnome for the second time in the ball game. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Kinsler and Victor Martin.
game summary. Tigers picking up right where they left off yesterday, scoring nine runs against the A's. Ian Kinsler, two run shot in the first. Victor Martinez back in action for the first time in the last four games. He also plays long ball, and Tory Hunter also took Eric Bedard deep. Tory Hunter's 10th home run of the season. And that's why Eric Bedard is no longer in the game. Cesar Ramos took over for him, and he is back out there now as we go to the bottom of the fourth. 6 1 Detroit. Kinsler swings on the first and cues it foul. So that'll be 13 straight games now. The Tigers have scored three or more runs. Well, that's the main reason why they're winning a lot of games because their pitching staff has not been giving up a whole lot. So a three runs usually a victory for the Tigers. Kinsler bouncing into a double play in his last at bat, the homer in his first at bat. Here's the 0 1. One ball, one strike, and the Tigers' second baseman, Ian Kinsler. 59 runs scored this year, which puts him one shy of Brian Dozier for the league lead. Dozier of the Minnesota Twins. Bouncing ball, hooked to third base on the charge there, Longoria. One out. Here is Miguel Cabrera. On base twice in this game. Walk double. Two runs scored for Miggy. Cabrera now at 313. And he has 67 RBIs. Here's the 1 0 pitch. Right back up the middle and right by Ramos into center. Second hit of the ball game now for Miguel. He is just a, a hitting machine. That'll bring up Victor Martinez. All they can do is laugh right now on the Tampa bench. Hey, just a reminder as you enjoy a cold one to look forward to Miller time later in tonight's game, brought to you by Miller Light. So now Martinez with a two run shot in the first. His 21st home run of the year. Four shy of his career high. That's it, just four shy. As we begin the second half of the season. Almost pitching right down at his feet. I'll ask you this question. Brad Osmus was asked this question today when he met with the media. How does Victor Martinez get on the All Star team this year? A lot of DHs out there. A lot of DH is having good years. How does he make it? Well, I know you floated the idea as a catcher. And although he's catched, he's caught, what, just a couple of games this year? Right. That may be the only way. I mean, I, it all comes down to a numbers game every year. And that's the unfortunate aspect about these all star teams because every team has to be represented. Victor's first year in a Tigers uniform, he was very deserving of making the all star team that year and did not make the team. Well, you would hate for it to get to the final vote where they uh, pick a few players from each side and then you vote on the internet. I don't know how they can leave them off. I don't need numbers. I don't either, but again, it, without having looked at the hard numbers and who has had good teams or good seasons for teams, who needs to be represented? Right. You know, Weeders, of course, I mean, that's going to open up a spot behind the plate. It's flared in the air right, and it's Kiermeyer again. They are peppering him with fly balls tonight, too, gone. By the way, voting ends tonight at midnight. Here are the American League selections so far. The DH right now is Nelson Cruz with 2.9 million votes plus. And Big Poppy is always very popular, and his manager, John Farrell, will manage the All Star team. 
All Star Game July 15th on Fox. Here is J.D. Martinez. That'll get back out of play. Would you be okay with him being a catcher? Oh, absolutely. I to mean, get him on because there's going to be other catchers. I mean, Derek Norris might make the team of the Oakland A's. There are going to be some other catchers there. So if it's a way to get Victor in the game, and if he has to catch one or two innings, that's okay too. And again, we talked about this a couple of days ago. Boy, the managers really have their work cut out for them in sculpting these teams. Victor has played some first base this year, too. Now, ah, that's a good point. In fact, he's played more first, but then again, that's a stack position. No question about that. Versatility has become more of an issue with the game meaning something now in terms of home field advantage for the World Series. He's locked in, however, number 24. It would be no all star game if he wasn't there. Followed back by JD. One ball, two strikes. Torrey waiting on deck. And of course, shortly after the all star game, you start to creep in on the trading deadline, July the 31st. So July really presents. A lot of exciting times. The All Star game, the deadline with a flurry of trades that typically happens every year. A lot of names already starting to float out there. GMs positioning themselves. Ball high, two and two. A cell phone carrier is a great business to be in in the month of July with all the phone calls that are made between GMs. Bedard lasted just two innings in this game. Ramos came on, pitched a scoreless third, and now here in the fourth as well. Here's the 2 2. Bouncing ball right side. It's going to find a hole. Base hit. Cabrera will stop at second base, and J.D. Martinez has his second hit. It's just finding ways to get on base these days. And Figueroa, the second baseman, playing up the middle. And that's a fastball away that uh, Victor, excuse me, J.D. Martinez has simply hit right past him. We'll keep the inning going now for Torrey Hunter. Torrey slammed his 10th home run of the season back in the first. Bouncing in, one ball, no strikes. Hey, Don Kelly's picked up a helmet and a bat. Castellanos was due next. Yeah, something must be going on with Nick. Here's the 1 0 pitch. Foul ball at home play, one ball, one strike. Tigers have 11 hits already and just 21 at bats against Rays pitching tonight. With two more hits here in the fourth. And uh, coming into this series, the Rays pitching really had sorted itself out the last three weeks. They've been pitching and it's a pretty good baseball since about June 9th. They've got a sub three ERA. They're starters. That has taken a hit tonight, though, with six runs on 11 hits, and we're only in the fourth. Here's the 1 1. Line drive, base hit, right center field. Cabrera coming around third. They're going to send him home. Jennings a throw, cut off. They'll go to third, not in time. Hunter does it again. His second hit, his second RBI. That is the uh, fourth, fifth RBI, excuse me, for Torrey Hunter the last couple of days with two outs. Tigers approach at the plate has been superb today. Most of these fastballs up and away. Ramos is featuring a Tigers hitter simply going with the pitch. I guess Cassianos is okay. Yep. 
Don Kelly going back to the bench, and now Castellanos will hit for himself and stay in the game. Hmm. Kelly had picked up a helmet, a bad move to the on deck circle. And now Castellanos will resume his spot into the batter's box here. He's one for two. Seven to one Detroit. That is their 12th hit already. And Castellanos looks at a ball inside 1 0. Nick had a single in the first fly out to right in the third. And it's in there for a strike one one. Bedard threw 53 pitches in his two innings and Ramos now is up to 28. Swing and a miss. One and two on Castellanos. Tigers sent nine men to the plate in that first inning when they scored five times, hit three home runs. Folks barely had a chance to sit in their seats before the offensive outburst by Detroit. Here's the one two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Castellanos is out. So were the Tigers. They get a run on the RBI hit by Torrey Hunter. Matt Max will take them out as we go to the fifth in command in this one. Tigers baseball on Fox Sports Detroit is brought to you by the Sam Bernstein Law Firm, the official legal services sponsor of Fox Sports Detroit, and by the new Chevy Silverado light duty and heavy duty lineup. Back here at the ballpark, out amongst the statues in left center field, seven to one in favor of the Tigers as we go to the top of the fifth. It's been a really good start to this four-game weekend series. And Scherzer has been part of the reason why he's been really good. Kevin Kiermeyer leads it off. 0 for 1 in the ball game. And he'll look at strike one. Kiermeyer, then Hannigan, then Figueroa, bottom three in Joe Madden's lineup. Kiermeyer, seven home runs already this season in his rookie campaign. And believe it or not, 12 home runs total. In over 1,300 minor league at bats before coming to the big leagues this year. Well, how do you explain that? I don't even know. Here's the 1 1. 
So he is on some kind of streak that he's never been on before in terms of at least hitting long ball. The most homers he'd hit in any season in the minor leagues is five. Here's the one two. Two balls two strikes on Kevin Kiermaier. He had always been known as a really good glove guy. Outstanding defender with a lot of speed plays the game very aggressively but not. Known much for his bat but hitting 295 with seven homers. Now Scherzer with the two two. Three and two on Kiermaier. Out of Parkland College in Champaign Illinois. Real good junior college player. From the 31st round of the major leagues. That is a tall hill to climb. The 3 2. Swing and a miss. Down he goes. Another strikeout for Max. Hey, the Tigers host Clayton Kershaw, Yasiel Puig, and the Los Angeles Dodgers on July 8th and 9th at Comerica Park. Tickets for this interleague showdown are on sale now. Call 866-66-TIGER or visit tigers.com. Don't forget about Zach Grinke. He's pretty good too. Tigers played the Dodgers out in L.A. back in early April. Fast. Uh, that was the first week of the season. They split out there. Tigers winning their game in 10 innings. Is a strike call. Pretty good chance the Tigers will see one. Of the two pitchers, Grinky or Kershaw. Oh, and one on Hannigan flight out his first time up. That's in for a strike. Good front door breaking ball there thrown by Max. The Dodgers are locked into a duel with San Francisco in the National League West. Dodgers have a very talented team, a lot of talent. Here's the 0 2. Fouled off. Well, they know that at least every fifth day they got a really, really, really good chance of winning. Here's what it looks like in the National League West. Everybody else, well, that's a tall hill to climb there. Frisco and the Dodgers. San Diego will be taking a lot of calls. And Joaquin Benoit in their bullpen at Houston Street, uh, their closer. Are rumored to be available. Line drive right field, right at Torrey Hunter. Two up, two down. At the trade deadline. What do you think this year? Going to be a lot of activity? Absolutely. Always is. And teams that are looking for pitching, they're going to have to overpay for the pitching because there's still a lot of teams and with playoff aspirations. Yeah, no doubt, especially with the extra wild card that was added. With two outs now, Cole Figueroa slaps it in the air toward left center. Austin Jackson cruising over, and for Max Scherzer, a 1 2 3 fifth inning. On our way to the bottom of the fifth, Tigers in command. Tigers baseball tonight presented by Mel Tire.
photo using hashtag Detroit fan photo for a chance to have it shown in an upcoming game broadcast is brought to you as always by AT&T your hashtag is Detroit fan photo. Well we'll see now if the Tigers can add some offense to their total they lead seven to one in this game on a spectacular night here in downtown Detroit temperature in the 70s clear skies the Tigers have a big lead. What more do you want. Avila starts it off. Then Suarez then Jackson. Cesar Ramos brings it home and delivers strike one. Rays had to go to their bullpen really early tonight. Eric Bedard bounced out of the game after two. Ramos came on in the third and now he's still in there in the fifth. Ramos has made seven starts this year so. He can stay out there for a while. Here's the 0 1. One ball, one strike. On Alex Avila. Yeah, Ramos tried to get Avila out. Avila's last time up, and Avila hit a fastball right back up the middle. And yeah, that Ramos did not get quite as far inside as the catcher Hannigan wanted him to. Bouncing ball right side diving stop on the grass by Figueroa who throws him out. Whale of a play there by Cole Figueroa. He took a base hit away from Avila and Cole probably had time to get to his feet and still throw Avila out. And, but he decided to throw while he was still on the ground but he still threw accurately to uh, James Loney. So Avila tonight is one for three now. Here's Suarez. Floats in for strike one on Eugenio Suarez. Couple of fly ball outs. 0 for two. When sails outside, one ball, one strike. What do you got on Suarez so far? He's pretty much held his own, I think, both defensively and with the bat. I got a little worried about him after he hit a three home runs in his first uh, seven games or so. I thought he he kind of get home he got home run happy there for a while. Batting average dipped down to about 240. But he's since made some adjustments, not trying to hit everything out of the ballpark, and he's holding his own at about 288 right now as far as the average is concerned. Suarez, a couple of hits in that series against the Athletics. Tiger is very young, left side of their infield. And Castellanos and Suarez. Here's the one two. Two balls, two strikes on Eugenio Suarez. Suarez settles back in the box. Is he wearing Mickey's batting glove? I think they got a 24 on him. Oh, sure. yeah, sure does. Wow. I don't blame him. He got MVP on him as well. <laughs> Here's the 2 2. Strike three call. Two gone. It'll bring up Austin Jackson. Quite the ending we wanted to that story, but oh well. Doesn't have quite the skill set that number 24 has. That's the real MVP right there. Look at Miggy. Anybody see my gloves? <laughs> Here's Jackson now with two outs. Miggy is funny though. If he does not get a hit, and with the gloves that he uses on any particular night, they simply go to charity. Well, Miggy's done a lot for this organization, and if, if you've got some gloves that have bad karma in them, move them on. Here's the 0-1 pitch. That's inside. One ball, one strike. Fastball, not very big, not very hard thrown by Ramos, but not afraid to throw it inside. A couple of singles for Jackson. He's two out of three.
seven to one Detroit in this one. And Ramos missing low. Two balls and one strike. Really good signs out of Jackson now with three hits yesterday, two more today. Vital part of what this Tigers offense can be when he is clicking. He's a catalyst. You know, whether he is batting first or whether he is batting lower in the lineup, when he's having a good day, usually you know, it creates a lot of havoc, scores a lot of runs. Here's the 2 1. Swing and a miss. 2 and 2 on Jackson. It's a good off speed pitch there by Ramos. Jackson's average now at 249. Here's the 2 2. Bouncing ball, third base side. Longoria with an easy hop. Jackson is out by a step. And the Tigers go 1 2 3. Five in the books at Comerica. Baseball on Fox Sports Detroit is brought to you by Arby's. Try Arby's new Kings Hawaiian Roast Beef BLT today. And by Bell Tire. Get the lowest tire price, period. Bell Tire. Yet another spectacular Motor City summer evening here. 7 to 1 in favor of the Tigers. We go to the top of the sixth inning now. Max Scherzer back to the hill. He's been awfully good tonight. Gave up a run in the first, but nothing since. And Max has gone 16 of 18 first pitch strikes through the first five innings as you look at his numbers. Desmond Jennings will lead it off. And Max missing low and in one ball and no strikes. It'll be Jennings, Zobris, and Joyce. Doubled in the first, lined out to Castellanos his last time up. Breaking ball drops in for a strike. One and one on Jennings. Swing and a miss. Scherzer came into this game 18 and 8 career against the American League East. Leading comfortably tonight. Swing and a miss. Jennings is out of there. One gone. Back to back sliders thrown by Max. 185, 186. But when Max is getting uh, to this arm slot right here, and we're going to freeze it right when he gets to the top. He's got a low three quarter arm slot, but when he gets up a little higher, he gets some really nice downward movement with his slider. And that's located beautifully outside. Strikeout number four in this game for Scherzer, who came in averaging about 
almost 11 strikeouts per nine innings, 10.7 to be exact. That arm slot is key for Max. He's got a low three quarter arm slot. Every now and then he'll get down too low with the breaking ball and it becomes flat. Uh, but he's getting into a really nice position uh, with the arm slot so far here tonight. One ball, one strike on Ben Zobrist. There goes Castellanos. Once that first strike is recorded on Zobris. Whistled back out of play. One and two. Zobris has always been a versatile guy. He can play several different positions. And we're talking about key positions on the field, whether it's the outfield or short. He made a uh, all-star team a few years ago because of that fact. Can play all over the place. It does help to be versatile. Second short, right, left. One, two is popped in the air. Left side of the infield, Suarez to the grass. Two gone. Here's Matt Joyce. Base on balls in the first for Joyce did not score. He bounced out to Cabrera back in the fourth. Batting 270. And he looks at ball one high and away. Joyce has the best on base percentage of anybody on the team. There's a strike one and one. And so far, Max has been one step ahead of the former Tiger, Matt Joyce. And mixing in good fastballs, good changeups, occasional curveball to Matt. Now the 1 1. Way inside, all the way to the backstop it goes. 2 and 2 on Joyce. Only two hits allowed tonight by Scherzer. The Tigers, by comparison, have 12 hits. Longoria waiting on deck. And the 2 2. Low, three balls, two strikes. Rays came in, winners of five in a row. They had swept the New York Yankees. They were hit hard in the first inning tonight when the Tigers got five against Eric Bedard. Here's the 3 2. Got him strike three. Joyce thought he had a walk. No such luck. Scherzer five strikeouts in this game. And we are headed to the bottom of the sixth at Comerica. All Tigers tonight.
All right, Mick, thanks. 7 to 1 here. The Tigers have the lead as Kinsler starts it off, and he waves and misses at the first. We're in the bottom of the sixth inning. It'll be Kinsler, Cabrera, Martinez. Detroit tonight, seven runs, 12 hits, and the Rays have a run on two hits. Two run shot for Kinsler. Got things rolling for the Tigers in the first. They would go on to score five runs on three homers. Ramos missing inside one ball one strike. Yeah, Ramos has gotten himself into something of a pattern after he does go inside with a fastball to move the feet of the hitters. He simply goes back outside with something soft. Missed it away there. And the count goes to two and one. Cabrera with two hits waiting on deck. Here's the two one. Three and one now on Ian Kinsler. There is more activity in the bullpen for the Rays. The right hander warming up Yates. Kirby Yates. Drilled, but that is going to be foul down the left field line. A scoop down there with the glove. And one guy reached out with his hand. He slowed it down, and she reached out with the glove and just simply picked it up. It's not who does it first, it's who does it best. She brought the glove, and she's got the souvenir. Here's the 3 2. Bouncing ball again, foul. Another opportunity down there. This next pitch will be the 50th for Ramos. Again, the starter, Bedard, went two innings through 53 pitches. And Ramos trying to go as long as he can in this game. How about the bullpen? And he got him strike three. Kinsler thought he had a walk. He will have to turn around though, head back the other way. Ramos is uh, doing something that Eric Bedard did not do in the two innings that he pitched here today. And that's one of the reasons why he only lasted two innings. Bedard did not go inside with any of his fastballs. And Ramos, he does not have a big arm either. His fastball tops out at about 90 miles an hour. Mr. Foxtrack says that was ball four. Here's Miguel Cabrera. Single double walk and three runs scored tonight for Miguel. High fly ball right field. Kiermaier going back. Racing to the corner. He's looking up. Leaps can't get it. It falls behind him. It'll be another hit for Cabrera and he is in with yet another double. Three hit game for Miguel. And Kiermaier, a real good defender, known for playing really good in the outfield. Looked like it may have been a play that he should have made in right field. He had to run a long way to get there, but at the end of the day, and not necessarily knowing where he was playing at Comerica Park, for the very first time, he felt that wall closing in on him. Ball hit his glove, wore the heel of the glove, not able to make that play. So now Cabrera with... Two more doubles tonight has 32 to lead the American League. Here's Victor Martinez with one out. Two run shot for Martinez in his first at bat. Fouls that one off 0 and 1. If you weren't with us earlier, I told you that I had a conversation with Victor today. Still battling a little bit of a, a sore right side. And I did not play in that entire Oakland series. And Victor said it's easier for him to swing the bat against left handed pitching versus right handed pitching right now. Well, he had a nice free and easy swing in his first at bat of the night, a two run shot. He said more homers lefty, but a better average righty.
Here's the 0 1. Ground ball left side, another base hit. Cabrera had to watch it through. He will stop at third base. Second hit of the night for Martinez. Good base running by Miguel. And yeah, great base running instincts. He wanted to make sure uh, the ball got through the infield before he left uh, to go to third base. He was not going to score anyway, even if he would have left at the crack of the bat. First and third, one out. Joe Madden coming out. He's taking that slow walk, which indicates he's going to the bullpen. Yates is warming up. That looks like it's going to be the end of the line here for Ramos, who did his best. Coming in in the third inning, so Kirby Yates will be summoned from the bullpen. Wall side windows pitching change, and we'll be back to Comerica. a very valuable member uh, to its family Don Zimmer uh, passed away earlier this year but more importantly uh, the Tampa Bay Rays uh, Zim was a special advisor in their organization and had been for the last 11 years and they honor him with Zim on their right sleeve. Did you know he had been at the major league level either as a coach or manager Don Zimmer for the last 42 consecutive years he was beloved in the game of baseball well he gave a lot of years of his life to the game of baseball in fact 66 years in professional baseball think about that Jim Leland was a really good friend of Don Zimmer's as a matter of fact when they would the Tigers would go to Tampa he and Zim would always get together and go out and have lunch and and do whatever they like to do but they were great friends and baseball lost a great great friend this year and no doubt heavy hearts for the uh, Tampa Bay Rays losing Don Zimmer. Now Kirby Yates will take over now for the Tampa Bay Rays. I mean, pretty much fastball slider thrown thrown by uh, Kirby Yates, and he likes the slider a lot, especially the right-handed batters. Pitching at the major league level for the first that first time this year, last year at uh, Triple A Durham, appeared in 51 games all out of the bullpen. A really good ERA. A swing and a miss by J.D. Martinez. There's that slide piece right on cue. At 85 miles an hour thrown by Kirby Yates. He recognized his brother Tyler Yates. Spent parts of five years as a big league reliever. A couple of different teams. That one backs him out of there. He's got a good fastball as well. Fastball goes anywhere from 92 to 94. Knock JD off the plate with that fastball at 93. We'll see if he goes back outside with the slider. If you're Martinez, you have to make sure he gets that slider up, or you're not going to hit it. 
swing and a miss. Yates was closing games down at Triple A. Durham was 16 of 16. On deck, Tory Hunter. Rays forced to go to the bullpen early in game one in this series. Tiger scored six of their seven runs in the first two innings. That one just missed. Take a look at the uh, slider yeah, that Yates was able to get two strikes on against JD. Looks like a fastball coming out of his hand last five feet. The ball just kind of dips under the bat of Martinez. Pulled foul down the third baseline. Tigers have runners at first and third, only one out. Already ahead seven to one as we play in the sixth. Cabrera got to start with a double. He's standing at third now, and he was singled to third base by Victor Martinez. JD fouls it away. Kirby H born in Hawaii and lives in Hawaii in the offseason. 27 years old. It'd be kind of hard to leave there, wouldn't it? It'd be hard for me, I know that. What a spectacular place. Pull to third base. Longoria to second one in the relay and now in time that'll be an RBI for JD Martinez. Cabrera scores to make it eight to one. Mickey has scored four times tonight. Second RBI of the evening for JD Martinez 36 for the year. Here's Torrey Hunter. Been a good night for Torrey. Two hits, two RBIs, including a homer. Slides low, 1 0. Tigers have 14 hits tonight, and the Rays have but two. Been a combination of the offense and Max Scherzer. Outside, two balls, no strikes. Cabrera got it rolling with a double. Martinez kept the chain moving with a base hit. Middle of the lineup getting it done again for Detroit in this ball game here tonight. 2-0 is a strike in the outer edge. 2-1. Low three balls one strike. Nick Castellanos to the on deck circle with batting gloves on this time. He didn't have any on last time. You see three one. Whistled back out of play. Three balls two strikes. Three and two on Tory Hunter. Tigers have scored in all but two innings in this ball game tonight. They pounded out 14 hits. Rays pitching taking a beating this evening. Runner going and it's lifted in the air to center. That'll be playable for Desmond Jennings. And they'll take care of the Tigers. They will settle for one run. We go to the seventh. Max Scherzer back to the hill. He's recorded five strikeouts tonight and has been in control from the get-go.
Eight to one is our score as we go to the top of the seventh inning. Mario and Pemba, Ron Allen back here at the ballpark. It's been fun tonight here. Great weather, big crowd, and Max Scherzer doing his thing. Well, Max, I mean, when he's uh, on what he's been doing the last three starts, really, it's going to be tough for the opposition to beat him. And the Tigers' offense, they score lots of runs for Max. Well, it's good to see the middle of the lineup doing their thing, Cabrera, Martinez, and Martinez. But it's also good to see the top guy, Austin Jackson, getting a couple of knocks. Five hits in the last couple of Jays. Uh, Brad Ausmus said he was going to insert him into that leadoff spot. Hoping to get him going, and boy, has he gotten Jackson going the last couple of days. So Scherzer goes back to the hill as we go to the seventh. Guarding an eight to one lead is Evan Longoria leads it off for the Rays. And Matt's his pitch count is in outstanding shape. He's only thrown 78 pitches. Put on the ground is short. Suarez bobbles momentarily, but has plenty of time and a good scoop there by Miggy. Gory is out 6 3 1 gone. <laughs> what, what is that an appropriate shirt? A cutie indeed. Yes, indeed. I wonder if that's her first game. If it is, it's a good one. Scherzer now will face James Loney. Loney uh, swung at the first pitch that he got last time up for Max. It was a change up down, and he got himself a base hit. Uh, to right field. Loney hit 351 on the road last year, which led all major league players. 351 batting average away from Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg. He's not going to wow you with the off the charts numbers, but he's a guy that is a, a a candidate at least at first base for a gold glove and his numbers across the board are pretty solid and he really helps out the other infielders on the other side of the diamond when they do throw the ball in the dirt. And he has a knack for picking it. Eric Hosmer ended up winning the gold glove at first base, but Loney was one of the finalists. In the second year of a three year deal with the Rays, most of his career in the National League with the Dodgers. Ground ball to third. Castellanos hadn't played perfectly. Here's our Xfinity high speed pitch on Max Scherzer. The mid 90s with the fastball today as a matter of fact a tick above uh, 95 96 and he is topped out at nine straight retired by Max ball one to Vince Belnome. Ground ball foul outside of the bag at first. Right into that gentleman's cap. Nice scoop. Two balls and one strike. Drill to right field. Torrey moving back. Still going. He'll haul it in at the warning track. Scherzer just continues to make it look easy. It's 10 straight is retired. Coming up the seventh inning stretch brought to you by Health Plus.
well, as we promised you a little bit earlier in the game, we have the AT&T fan photo of the game tonight. Tweet your photo to hashtag Detroit fan photo for a chance to be shown in an upcoming game broadcast. It is brought to you by AT&T. They're enjoying themselves tonight here at the ballpark. Why not? Max Scherzer has been great. The offense has been humming. And the Tigers off to a really nice start in this four game series. Tigers coming to the dish now in the bottom of the seventh inning with their bottom three Castellanos, Sevilla, and Suarez. Castellanos is one for three. A single at his first at bat. Nick with a fly ball and a strikeout his last two at bats, and he waves and misses 0 and 1. Eight runs on 14 hits for the Tigers, a run on two hits for the Rays. Ball outside, 1 1 the count. Kirby H came on. To get the final two outs in the sixth inning. We'll try and get them through the seventh after they had to go to the bullpen early in this ball game tonight. One one pitch is hammered foul back out of play one and two on Nick. We will see the Rays over the fourth of July weekend here plenty of baseball to come up the next three days. Great night tonight, and it's supposed to be this way the entire weekend, which is just going to be fabulous. I'll take that. Big fireworks show after the ball game tomorrow night for the 4th of July. A little bit outside, two balls, two strikes. Alex Avila will be next. Here's the 2 2 from Yates. Line drive to right, base hit. So, a single for Castellanos. That'll be his second hit of the game. Most young players, when they come to the major leagues, they don't have a knack for inside outing the baseball the opposite way for lots of base hits. But Castellanos is one that does. That's about 93 inside, but look how he pulls the bat knob first. And look at the angle of the bat. The concentration of the head is directly down on the ball, and he slices it the opposite direction. Nice piece of hitting by Castellanos with no stride. Lead off man aboard here is Alex Avila. One for three tonight for Avila. Alex looks at strike one. And Loney not holding Castellanos on, trailing by seven in the bottom half of the seventh inning. And uh, probably a wise thing for Castellanos not to try to steal here. Here's the 0 1. You get into those unwritten rules of baseball when you have a large lead, especially late in the game where you probably shouldn't try to run. With Max on the mound, it appears that this game is in hand for the Tigers, although you still have to get 27 outs. But that's just the way the game is played. And sometimes, I mean, I guess I understand it, sometimes I don't. I mean, it's, it is possible for the Rays to come back. No doubt. But, you know, it is 8 1. I guess, I don't know, what if it's 5 1? Oh, you could run if you it was run five them. to one. He'd be holding him on if it was just a four-run lead. Swing and a miss, and Avila goes down. Well, Yates has his first strikeout. One gone. It's going to bring up Eugenio Suarez. And as he stands in, we check out the Tigers' box score. Look at all that production up and down the line. Suarez, right now, the only starter without a base hit. A couple of fly balls and a strikeout. Fifteen Tigers hits in this ball game. Still have Mickey's gloves on. Yes, he does. Twenty four. One ball, one strike. 
Tigers are creeping up on their high watermark for hits in a game. It's 19 against Minnesota. They are four shy of that. Ground ball to short. He'll fire to second one. Figueroa's relay is a double play. 6 4 3. Inning is over. Seven in the books. We go to the eighth. There has been a lot of offense in this ball game tonight, but there's also been a lot of pretty good pitching for Max Scherzer. And here are the numbers through seven innings tonight. Sparkling, just one walk, only five strikeouts, and the pitch count is in outstanding shape. As a matter of fact, Max just might pitch his second complete game of his career this evening. We'll see how he gets through the eighth inning here. He's in great shape, only 86 pitches. So maybe he's in line indeed for that. That'd be awesome. Porcello's got himself a couple of complete games, both shutouts. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer leading it off. Bottom three facing Max. And a ball high, 1-1. One, one. Scherzer's complete game against the Chicago White Sox back on June 12. Lifted to center. That's routine. Jackson is there, one gone. Three starts ago, Max uh, pitched just four innings, gave up ten earned runs to the Kansas City Royals, and that was a little bit of a wake-up call for Max. His last three outings, including this one, uh, the fastball has been explosive, 95 and above when he wants to get there, but really his off-speed pitches, whether it be the changeup, whether it be the real slow curveball, or whether it be the slider, uh, they have been legitimate swing and miss pitches for Max. That is our bell tire pitch by pitch. Look at the movement on that pitch. Here is Hannigan. He looks at a ball inside. That is something that uh, Max has done a couple of times today, and he did it to Hannigan. And a front door breaking ball starts it right at Hannigan, and Hannigan gives up on it, and the ball catches the inside corner. Didn't get the call that time from Phil Cuzzy, but he got the call on that pitch. Scherzer has retired 11 straight. He's given up two hits. One, in fact, was the leadoff double by Desmond Jennings to start the game. And then Loney singled in the fourth. That's it. Two balls, one strike. Ryan Hannigan, a couple of fly ball outs. Former Cincinnati Red. Big swing there, two and two.
Scherzer has been in control all night. Two and two, the count stays on Hannigan. Figueroa will be next. Tigers have Smiley on the hill tomorrow night. That'll be game two of a four game series. Tigers play through next week, and then it's the All Star break. Two balls, two strikes, and Ryan Hannigan spent seven years, as a matter of fact, with the Cincinnati Reds. Parts of seven seasons. And Max having trouble putting him away. Here is Cole Figueroa. Scherzer has been over 100 pitches every start this year with the exception of one. That was that KC start when he gave up 10 runs. KC was on fire at that time. Boy, were they. They won the first three games of the series against the Tigers. They were right in the middle of that 10 game winning streak. At that time they were doing everything right and the Tigers could do very little right. And even in that stretch Brad Ausmus maintained the same demeanor. Here's the 2 2 again. Another foul off the end of the bat. Max has retired the side in order. Five of the seven innings here today. Is a nine pitch at bat right now to Hannigan. And that's pulled foul back into the seats. Yeah, Max has been throwing Hannigan a lot of breaking balls. He may as well come back with that mid 90s fastball and see if Hannigan can catch up to that. Here comes that fastball. Got him in the outside corner. He dotted the corner for strike three. Hannigan didn't like it, but it's strikeout number six. He had to shake a beal off of either one of the slider. Uh, Max said, no, I'm going to go with the fastball. And he simply, as you put it, it dots that corner. Look at that right on the edge. Still a uh, lengthy at bat for Hannigan. That makes it an even 100 now for Max. And his pitches by inning. There's a strike called on Cole Figueroa. Max is 19 of 27 in uh, first pitch strikes thrown so far tonight to the Rays hitters. Ouch. Got him in the knee. 0 oh 2 the count. So Phil Cuzzy now will buy some time for Avila as he heads out to the mound. Check swing by Figueroa right off the left knee of Avila. Two. Foul away. Figueroa in this ball game. Couple of fly balls. One to left. One to center. The University of Florida product. A sixth round pick initially of the San Diego Padres. He fouls another one back out of play. 0 2.
Scherzer threw 112 in his last start, 114 the start before that. Trying to get a uh, quick out here, perhaps to come out for the night. He's got a lot left in his tank, too. One and two. Tigers eight runs, 15 hits, and for the Rays, a run on two hits. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Seven Scherzer strikeouts tonight. He marches back into the dugout in total command of this one. And Tigers jumped on the Rays early here today. And let's take a look at the Jimmy John's freaky fast uh, delivery of the game. And Ian Kinzer was the one that got the Tigers on the board after an Austin Jackson single. He played long ball against Eric Bedard, two-run variety. And then it was Victor Martinez playing in his first game in the last four days. He also took him into the bridge and dropped him off. And then you got Torrey Hunter. And with his 10th home run of the year, a hanging curveball thrown by Eric Bedard, who threw a lot of off-speed pitches, and the Tigers seem to be sitting on uh, those off-speed pitches. So we go to the bottom of the eighth, and it'll be Austin Jackson starting it off. Top of the order for the Tigers, Jackson, Kinsler, and Cabrera. 15 Detroit hits, only two for the Rays. And most hits the Rays have given up this season, 18. They gave up 18 hits to the Yankees back on... May 2nd. Looks like Max is done. And uh, what a job tonight for Scherzer. Eight very strong innings, allowing just two hits. Chad Smith warming up in the Detroit bullpen. Max was tired the side in order. Six of the eight innings here today. Really is kind of amazing. I mean, he gave up a hit to the first batter of the game and then just one other hit the rest of the day. Dominant. Line drive right field. Kierbeier is on the run and he'll track it down. He can really move and he's been busy tonight. One away. We've been talking All Star game all night long. Tuesday, July 15th, baseball's best gather in Minnesota as the captain, Derek Jeter, takes the field in his last All Star game ever in what promises to be an emotional and unforgettable night. Special coverage begins at 4 30 on Fox Sports 1 and then followed by the 2014 All Star game at 7 30 on Fox. Target Field in uh, downtown Minneapolis. Spectacular venue. It certainly is, and I'm sure they'll put on a great show. Ball one inside to Kinsler.
Ian hit a two run homer in his first at bat. He's one for four tonight. Missed it outside. Two balls, no strikes. That is in there for a strike. Kinsler's home run was his 11th of the year. Batting average 307. He has been as good as advertised his first year in the Tigers uniform. After spending eight years and playing second base for the Texas Rangers. Gobbled up just about everything hit his way this year. Ian has uh, taken two fastballs right down the middle. He must have been sitting on something soft and he didn't get it from Yates. He'll get it now. Low. Three and two. Yates followed Ramos who followed the starter Bedard. Tigers knocked Bedard out after two frames tonight. And he got him strike three. Kinsler caught looking there are two gone. It's not often you will uh, see Ian Kinsler take three fastballs for strikes and strike out. I guess Ian thought it was low. Phil Cousy disagreed. And now here is Cabrera. Well, seven run lead in the uh, bottom half of the eighth inning. Now that's a pitch you probably got a swing at. Miggy looks at a strike down the middle. Tigers got five in the first, one in the second, one in the fourth, one in the sixth. Three hits for Miggy today already. A couple of doubles and a single. He's walked once and he's scored four runs. One ball, one strike. And we put up uh, Miggy's numbers against uh, Tampa in his career, and no one has been better against Tampa Bay Rays pitching than Miguel Cabrera. And they've had some good pitching over the years. They've had some outstanding starting staffs. That's what makes it impressive. Checked it. Two and one. That's in there. Two balls, two strikes. Rajay Davis has moved to the on deck circle. Victor Martinez's spot was due. You know, we told you earlier that Victor, no issues swinging the bat right handed, but a little discomfort still swinging left handed. And that's why uh, Rajay Davis is going to pinch hit for Victor if it goes that far. Doesn't look like it will, though. Desmond Jennings hauls it in. One, two, three inning. They finally get Miggy out. We go to the ninth.
is eight to one Detroit as we check out our game summary the Tigers had a big first inning in which they homered three times in the game Cabrera's had a huge night but Rod how about the night for Max Scherzer dominant and it's the third consecutive start that Max has gone out there and been dominant I like the fact that he is really using his fastball early in the game and then that allows him to get swings and misses on his off speed pitches whether it be the change up the slider or the curveball so he will give way now to Chad Smith who will come out of the bullpen he's got a good arm Smith that's a nice arm side sink with his fastball about 92 to 94 miles an hour. Desmond Jennings top of the order leads it off for the range. It'll be Jennings Zobrist and Joyce. And Rays won a lot of first pitches against Max today. And because he threw a lot of first pitch strikes. Here's the 0 one. One ball one strike on Jennings. There's that natural arm side sink that Smith can get on his fastball simply. Uh, from the arm slot that he throws from. Now the 1 1. Back him out of there. Two balls and one strike. Jennings, one of the two hits that the Rays have, the other is a single by James Loney. That is it tonight for Tampa Bay. Outside, three balls, one strike. Ben Zobrist on deck, the number two hitter. Fouled off three and two. Smith ready with the full count pitch. Here it is. And he got him strike three. Jennings thought he had a walk. Not so. Let's check in with Lindsey Hayes now. Preview of what's coming up on tonight's Tigers Live. Hi guys. Well the fans are excited. The last time that the Tigers had three home runs in the first inning. You have to go all the way back to 2006. We're going to be talking to Victor Martinez about making a splash in his first outing back. Also, we'll get Brad Osmus's take on Max Scherzer's outing so far this evening. All that more coming up on Tigers Live, as well as Mickey York will be holding it down from the Coliseum Studios. For now, we'll send it back to you. All right, Lindsay, thanks. We certainly look forward to that tonight with an 8 1 lead right now. One out, nobody on for Ben Zobrist. Castellanos still shifting. Yep, seven run lead. Not going to give Zobras anything. He is really the only member of their their, their batting order today that the Tigers have shifted on. Well, Zobras, it's 0 for three. He's down to the count now, 0 and two. One ball, two strikes. Close. Tigers pitching tonight with a total of eight strikeouts. Seven of those belong to Max. One here for Chad Smith in the ninth. Jeff Jones, pitching coach on cruise control tonight. It's in the air to center. It'll be routine for Jackson. Two up, two down in the ninth. Hey, by the way, spend Sunday night in the D when the Tigers face these Tampa Bay Rays this Sunday at 807. For as low as 1750, fans can get a game ticket and a Sunday night in the D t-shirt. Offer available exclusively at Tigers.com slash Sunday night. So here comes the crowd now with two out, nobody on. That choice is their last chance. And he looks at strike one. 
Joyce on base once tonight, a walk in the first. There goes Cassianos again. <laughs> Get that first strike. Did Mickey say where are you going? <laughs> he told me to come over here. Here's the 0 1. Now it's 0 2 on Joyce. You telling Mickey, well, <laughs> I just go where I'm told. He told me to. Mickey guarding the line. Castellanos is guarding short right field. Here's the 0-2. Popped up. Shallow left. Long run Suarez. But the left fielder Martinez and the Tigers win game one. What a night tonight. Tigers totally dominant. The offense was rolling. Max Scherzer was as well. And this is a good win. Rays took the lead in the very first inning. But the Tigers countered with five with three first inning homers. So the handshake line forms. Nice win tonight for the Tigers. Their fourth straight. We'll be back.